There were only 705 survivors. Few of them, of course, are still alive today, but amongst them is Major Frank Prentice from Bournemouth. Now, Major, you worked in the purser's office of the ship. You were only 18 at the time, and you were in your cabin here in the midships of the Titanic That's when the right. collision occurred. Now, what was the first you knew of the disaster? Well, we came to a sudden stop. That's the first I knew about it. And it was just like jamming your brakes on a car. There was no impact, no great impact. You couldn't feel. It was just a bit of a shudder, and she stopped. Now, when people realised the ship was actually sinking, were the scenes of, of great panic? At the end, there was it was chaotic at the end. What was happening? Well, everybody was crying, praying, trying to get into the few lifeboats that were left. No, it was um, pretty sad at the end. You met a woman, didn't you, and you gave her some advice? Yes. Well, Mrs. Clark, I I got into a lifeboat. She was having trouble getting her life jacket on. So we fixed that for her and told her. And she didn't want to leave her husband. That was the trouble. Half of the women didn't want to leave their husbands. But anyway, we got her. I got her into a lifeboat as a precautionary measure. And she said, well, can my husband come with me? I said, no. He'll follow on later on. Well, now, how did you get off yourself? Well, I dropped off the stern just before she sank. So you went right up to the stern yes, here. Yes, it was quiet up there. Presumably the stern was a long way out of the water by Well, the she was almost vertical when I left her. I was lying, I was hanging onto the board that uh, says keep clear of propeller blades. But at the very end, I was lying on it. And then I let go and I just missed the propellers on the way down. How big was the drop? God, I don't know, well over 100 feet. I believe you've still got the watch you had at the time. Yes, I have. Can we have a look at that? Yes. What time did the ship actually sink? I think she went down about quarter past two. Right, well, here's the watch, and the watch says 20 past two. So um, the watch kept going after you'd hit the water, which presumably was freezing. Yeah, absolutely. Full of ice and uh, bits of ice flows and bergs all around us. Now eventually you managed to get into a lifeboat. Yes. Did you meet Mrs. Clark again? Then? Yes, I met her and I sat next to her and she wrapped a blanket around me and tried to keep me a bit warm. And I what was about, nearly frozen solid. What about her husband? Her husband was drowned. What are the myths of the Titanic? Was the band playing Nearer My God to Yes, them? yes. Did you hear that? I heard that. I heard that when I went forward the second time. There were, put some stewardess into a lifeboat that I found they didn't know where to go or what to do. And on my way back I found, the, I heard the band playing, Near My God to Thee, and them singing. What about this theory that some of the men dressed up as women to get into the lifeboats? I don't know. I didn't see any of that. I know there were a lot of men saved. There were 80 firemen, I think there were about 70 odd stewards, and a lot of men saved. I don't know how they got away, but uh, they didn't swim because they were only seven picked up who do you, lived. Who do you blame for this catastrophe? I blame the bridge. I, I, I think a lot of the blame was on Bruce Ismay, the chairman. He was he the chairman of the shipping line. He was the chairman of the shipping line, and I'm very much afraid he influenced Captain Smith so much that we, we went straight for the ice. There was no question about it. We were absolutely thrown away. That ship was thrown away. Why, though? Why? For the sake of speed. We but shouldn't have been anywhere near there because we had warnings that there was ice and there was ice all over the place. We had it from ships and shore. And we went straight ahead as if there was nothing there in our way. Does the memory of that night still haunt you now? Well, when I, tonight I shall think a lot about it. <laughs> Can't help it, can you? Did you think at any stage you were going to die? I didn't give it a thought when I was on the ship. And I didn't give it a thought when I dropped in the water, but I gave it a long thought when I was on my own and everybody else seemed to be dead around me. And then I thought I was going to die. But I had a life jacket on and I had another one tucked under me and a cushion. And I was just paddling towards where I saw the lifeboats, where I, we sent up, uh, rockets from the bridge and I could see where the lifeboats there were I was on the poop I had a very good view 
What a dreadful scene uh, that must have been, Major Prentice. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.